Oh, my goodness. That was a tough one to beat uh, after two months, I must say. Let's uh, get a look at the setup there. Uh, you got to see two hot laps there, back to back. And, uh, well, you can see, you know, some missed apex here and there, as usual, skill issues. But at the same time, getting used to new pedals, been two months, and uh, sort of getting up to pace again. And uh, having to drive a little different because uh, load cells tend to, you know, give you a better feedback. And uh, I've adjusted the setup just slightly to make the car feel as I need it. And uh, here we can see, well, this is the setup that I just applied. Let's see if we if I have the previous setup that I used in the in the league race a uh, couple of months ago, uh, right when the old PB was set in early January. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, the old setup that I had, this is also usable. Uh, both setups are equally good to use. Uh, one is obviously a bit quicker in the corners, the second one that I just did it. Um, but you know, in the race, maybe you're gonna be using this. Up to you, you know. Uh, you have to try both out and see which works for you. Uh, perhaps even uh, just adjust things as you need. Now let's have a look uh, at the first setup that we have over here. 50 front wing. Uh, you will need the maximum amount of front wing around here because there's a lot of long, tight, medium speed corners around here. And having arrow will make sure you get through the corners much, much quicker. Uh, there are some variations that you can run with lower wings. So maybe two clicks lower, three clicks lower. In qualifying, you can get up to the same pace as a higher full downfall setup. Uh, but in the race, you're definitely going to be noticeably slower, probably two to three tenths uh, because you lack arrow. And it's going to make your life a little bit difficult. Unless you have significant pace advantage, then you might want to go something like this uh, so that it's easier for you to overtake down the pit straight. Otherwise, uh, in the world record setup, it was a 50-42, I just went for 43 because world record setups tend to be a lot more always theory. So for my liking, it, 53 was, uh, 43 was just nice on the rear end. It uh, gave me a lot of confidence on throttle as well. Transmission, the usual, 55 on throttle, 50 off throttle. I tried 51, uh, but the nature of this track, uh, you already have high downforce, one, and it's also quite twisty. Uh, that's the reason I went with lower off throttle, so to give me a lot more rotation on the rear. Uh, when I lift off into the corners, the car turns in even nicely, uh, quite effortlessly. Uh, you can go higher on the on throttle, 60, 65 in the race. Uh, this is to you know give you a, li a little bit more stability in the race as the tie wear starts to kick in. Uh, you can start off with 55. Uh, any lower than that, I wouldn't recommend because uh, it kind of unsettles the car unless you have a setup that is quite understeery to start off then you can go lower on your own throttle 51 don't go 50 51 is the minimum you should go 50 is kind of bugged 51 is just nice so otherwise if you want to go with a very casual uh, default ish uh, transmission 55 50 is your answer suspension geometry no questions about this we'll skip minimum camber Minimum toe gives you the best stability and cornering ability as well. You don't need to mess around with any of these other items. You don't need to add extra toe or whatever because there's already a lot of downforce coming from the wings. Uh, you won't really need to do anything else uh, other than fix your right foot or your right thumb or your right, I don't know, index finger so you throttle better. Suspension. This is where always you can make up uh, the final few tent, uh, two or three tents, uh, depending on your driving style. Wings and right height is going to give you majority of lifetime. The wings are the primary factor, right height slightly. And then the suspension and entry roll bar, they're going to give you a little bit more time to find out of the car, depending on your driving style. You know, someone who likes a very oversteer car might go for even stiffer suspension on the front and rear. Uh, that is to allow the front to be stable while the rear you know rotates and gives them the rotation whereas you know some may like uh, a car that is decently planted uh, balanced not too much understeer not too much oversteer you want to go for a soft suspension and anti-roll bar setup so i've settled with 2141 over here uh, that's just nice um, increasing the anti-roll bar will give you a bit more um, better less un less uh, snappy exits so if you're getting oversteer on exits 
um, you might want to increase the front anti-roll bar first and try that out or you can even uh, increase the rear wing either way will increase the stability of the car a front suspension if you have entry understeer you want to reduce it but be careful in uh, in you know, the higher speed corners which there aren't many here uh, you might get a bit of instability throughout the lap if you increase this this will reduce the turning that you get at the corner entry but you may need this if let's say your overall setup is very uh, over steering so this might help you we start off with this right height a uh, don't go any lower than four you really start to lose a lot of time if you're running 60 hertz 60 fps and then you're fine with this at the uh, 5 is it the end of sector one that fast blind left hander uh, that corner is very rng if you're not running 60 fps um, so uh, uh, you might need to run higher right height if you are on let's say you know 75 90 120 hertz or whatever if you're on 60 fps you can run quite a bit lower this will give you a lot more cornering speed in this uh, in this tight circuit 4.5 is my preference it, you can try 4.6 also it gives you a bit more rotation on the rear uh, in the high speed corners where there might be a hint of understeer but you don't really feel that much unless you have a very understeer setup brakes 150 as always no questions about this tire pressures in the race you want to go with all minimum the reason is tire temperatures around here are such a pain to manage so start it off at minimum you will be good to go till the end of the race qualifying keep it minimum um, medium tires hard tires whether you're on half fuel load or full fuel load regardless of the fuel and tire combination you want to go for mediums uh, medium uh, minimum tire pressures uh, that will be the safer way if you have more time you have uh, you want to practice and see how much temperature you can tolerate you can always go one or two clicks higher but don't go any more than that uh, adding some rear pressure definitely adds stability to the rear of the car and uh, but it comes at the cost of uh, you know increased carcass temperatures and also you know your tires might be hotter overall if you start to overheat your tires like 98 99 100 then just dial it back go back to zero and you'll be fine so yeah that is the setup number one 50 43 wings 55 50 right right left left 214145 150 brakes and uh, minimum on the front two clicks on the rear now what i've done just recently to adjust this and uh, let's take a look it's not much different same wing same transmission same suspension geometry the only thing i've changed is i've increased the rear suspension by one uh, it gave me a lot more uh, stability well not say stability it gave me a lot more uh, confidence when I'm taking the curbs around here um, so you know generally you know you want to keep the rear suspension as soft as it is uh, to give you better traction but since you already have a lot of aerodynamic um, you know grip coming from the car uh, the arrow is quite high so I took the risk and tried this out and it actually felt good um, higher than that it didn't really feel good unless you want to increase the front suspension equally as well and uh, I don't really advise increasing the rear suspension any more than two um, otherwise it will give you too much rotation on the rear unless that's something crazy that you need you can always experiment with the setup uh, rear engine roll bar I tried going up but it didn't really matter around here because it's uh, it's not really long long corners uh, maybe like Silverstone or Spa uh, where it might help me there uh, I felt like here I went for rear suspension one click higher definitely helped so you can try this out everything else exactly the same so you know in in hindsight you know there's not really much that I've changed in the setup uh, it's just that uh, there you go so once again for the drives this is what you want to run take a look you may want to pause and see it and that's it minimum tire pressures probably and then for the rain uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because uh, you're already maxed down on the front wing you can't uh, increase the front wing anymore so your best bet if it's going to be raining somewhere in the race uh, one thing you can always just increase the rear wing by one just one click i think would be enough around here otherwise it's already already high down for you're not going to be gaining any more you can even go 50 50 if you want uh, but the adjustment you'll have to make in the setup is probably on the right height um, go one click higher on the front right height that will give you a bit of ground clearance in the in the in the wets and uh, rear right height just go high 
six, seven, eight, maybe even nine. Uh, give the car a bit of a rake. Uh, that will allow your car to rotate uh, in the rainy conditions where it's naturally going to be slower and more understeery. And that's it. Uh, all you have to do uh, in the in the dries and the wets. I uh, hope you have a good one here in Hungary. And that brings us to setup number 20 completed. And we got four more to go. It's, it is getting towards the end of the game cycle. But, you know, uh, nevertheless, we'll try to roll this out much, much quicker from the next game onwards. Thank you to everyone for staying tuned uh, till now, you know, watching all the videos, all the lovely comments and support. And also in the Discord channel, you know, you guys are, some of you are just, you know, having fun. I uh, love to see that. So, yeah, see you all in the next setup, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we got a few more tracks to go just to round it off at the calendar. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and bye-bye.